Staying focused and therefore staying in flow state for as long as possible is crucial to edit and color grade effectively. Over time I came up with 11 shortcuts that helped me to achieve exactly that. And the best thing is, they won't override any default Final Cut shortcuts so everything else will remain in place. Firstly I will show you which shortcuts I use and then I will show you how to set them up. The first set of shortcut deals with editing. In my workflow and I think in everyone else's too, trim start, trim end and blade are the most frequently used operations. On US keyboards the shortcuts are somewhat intuitive, but for the rest of the world and I'm using a German keyboard the shortcuts are kind of meh. Yeah, and additionally I don't think that the US shortcuts are that great either and I think we can do much much better than this. When I think about the operations trim star, blade and trim end, I think of a series of three keys. That just feels most intuitive to me. So I set up F1 for trim start, F2 for blade and F3 for trim end. That way I can chop through footage without even lifting my hand. The second set of shortcuts already deals with color grading. Here I made sure I have all the tools I most frequently use right at my fingertips. So F4 brings up color wheels, F5 color curves and F6 the hue saturation curves. Bear with me for one more minute, we will even modify these tools with shortcuts. Which brings me to my third set, masking. F9 adds a shape mask and Shift and F9 adds a color mask. Shift and F10 lets you change the color mask method to toggle between the 3D and the HSL or qualifier mask. F10 without a modifier key will bring up the mask view so you can check your masks with just one keystroke. In addition to modifying our color grading adjustments with masks, we might need to take care of some other operations as well. This really comes down to personal preferences but I think my F12 key will blow your mind nevertheless. But first let's run through the remaining shortcuts. To save a frame into the frame browser I can press F7. To bring up the frame browser I can press Shift and F7. That way I always have my grading references handy. F8 will apply the color grade from one clip prior. However it doesn't bring along the custom LUT effect. Nevertheless you can apply your color effects and then just slide in your custom LUT. I find this to be a little quicker than copying and pasting attributes, especially if you have many other effects on your clips. But this depends on your personal preferences as well. That's about it. But what's going on with my F12 key? Well, I will just show you what it does. When I press it, you can see that only color adjustments are being toggled. I find this one so, so handy. Before we can set up these shortcuts in Final Cut, we need to take care of one other thing. As you know, all the function keys are used by macOS as special keys. So that means F1 and F2 change their screen brightness, F4 toggle spotlight and so on and so forth. You can hold the FN key to change this behavior so you can use the function keys in Final Cut, but I find this too cumbersome. So let's make it the other way around. Then. Open system settings, go to keyboard, keyboard shortcuts and function keys. When you turn this setting on, the keys will reverse their behavior. That means they can be freely assigned but require pressing the FN key to behave like special keys. So you need to hold down the FN key to change your screen brightness or volume. If this bothers you, consider changing your settings before and after using Final Cut. I tried to create a shortcut using Apple Script to toggle between the function keys and the special keys, but unfortunately I couldn't make it work. If you know a workaround or if you know why my script won't work, please share it below, this would be super great. To assign the function keys in Final Cut Pro, go to Final Cut, Commands and Customize. Then you just need to drag the function you want to add onto the clip you want to add it on. If you want to remove something, just drag it out of the window. As you can see, I just cleared the F1, F2 and F3 key to assign these together. Search for Trim and drag Trim Start to F1 and Trim End to F3. Then search for blade and drag it onto F2. If you want to assign something with a modifier key, you can select it up here or hold it down while dragging the function to the key. As you might recall, Shift and F7 brings up the frame browser. So I look it up, hold Shift and drag it onto F7. I think you're getting the concept so there's no need to go through all the keys. If you want to set up your function keys like I did, I put a list up here. And if you want to know how to have different versions of your color grades in Final Cut, you should watch this video next.